What's up guys, welcome to another episode of BMP. And for today's video, we're going to be removing the rear end on the RX-7. Uh, so, we're going to drop the whole subframe, we're going to pull it from under the car, we're going to disassemble it, we're going to clean it, uh, and prep it for paint. Then, after everything's painted, we're going to put all the new PBM parts back on and reassemble it, put it back in the car. Uh, I really doubt I'm going to get all that done today, especially the paint. Because, you know, I'm running out of daylight as we speak. So, let's hop to it. I already started working on the car here. All I've removed so far are, if you can see over there in that corner, it's just a, like an exhaust heat shield and a shield for the gas tank in the rear. Uh, so, the part that's hanging down is the parking brake, which was super easy to take apart. You just one bolt. And the whole bracket falls off. So, I'm going to start. I'm going to put you guys on the uh, tripod over here. And I'm going to start jumping under it. And freaking getting all this stuff disconnected and dropped out. Hopefully, it's really easy. It should only be like four bolts. And the whole thing falls out. Well, also the, uh, the coilovers. And everything should fall out. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Day two of working on RX-7. Pulling the rear subframe and diff out of the car so yesterday I was uh, when I was working on it my camera died on me and it stopped filming me actually dropping it out, uh, out of the car so I'm gonna flip you guys around you guys can see um, as you guys can see it's we dropped the whole thing as a whole section it was it really wasn't that hard to drop out it was four bolts you can see here, it's four mounting points here, here, and two on this other side, uh, and the camber arm <coughs> has to be dis disconnected to also drop. Um, from what I was doing, I thought I was going to be able to, you know, actually bring the shocks down at the same time, but I guess they are just kind of stuck on there. And it won't come out. So, but yeah, the whole subframe is out. And now I'm going to start disassembling it, take the diff off the subframe and to make it easier to move around and start disassembling it and get it ready for reassembly and paint. <laughs> Alright guys, super simple. There's four 14 millimeter bolts right here on the axle, so on both sides, so eight in total. Then two 17 millimeter bolts here. Then the whole diff comes out. It's really easy to take this thing apart. Um, so now the next thing we're going to jump onto is uh, taking these rear wheel hubs off and try. They're stripping this all the way down to. Bare nothing, so we can get we can clean it the best and get the paint, best paint around it. 
All right, so we're gonna jump over to the next thing. What's up, guys? Day three, working on the rear in the RX-7. So today, to start off, we're not in the garage. We're in the truck because we are on the way to Harbor Freight to pick up some more tools, um, a hydraulic press, and longer pliers, like needle nose, needle nose pliers, to help us take out the bushings on the RX-7, and also some WD-40, and maybe a fire extinguisher, maybe, possibly, probably, for safety reasons. But yeah, let's go drive and let's go get that stuff. We just got back from Harbor Freight and I'm gonna show you what I got. Got a, I can think, don't mind the exhaust, I still haven't got rid of it. So right here, got a six ton hydraulic press, heavy as hell. Portable work stand, so that might come in handy. Thought I thought it would, thought it would. And got the extended, the extended or the longer pliers inside the truck with. What else did I get? I don't know. I got something else too. But yeah, so running out of daylight really fast, and we gotta hurry up and get to work. So before we start to get to work, we're gonna set up this stand real fast. So yeah, let's get to work on this. Then we can put one of the uh, pieces of the subframe on because I already have it in pieces. And then we can start uh, moving forward. All right. All right. That was a little harder than I thought. Uh, but the stand is set up. That's all that matters. So we're running really low on daylight right now. So I'm going to, we're going to try to, oh, you can't see. We're going to try to get the bushings at least burned out of the car, or burned out of the subframe, and get that prepped for tomorrow, where we'll do, we'll push in the new ones, and then we'll paint it. Something like that. Sand it and paint it. Hopefully. Hopefully it turns out like that. So, yeah. So let's get to work on that, and get these bushings off. Woo! Got the subframe on the stand. Um, got WD-40. Couldn't get a fire extinguisher, but I have a water hose on hand, so, you know, safety first. Um, got gloves. And hammer and, like, chisel and screwdriver. And, yeah, so, hopefully this turns out well. Hopefully I don't burn down the house. Uh, yeah, let's get to it. Let's get it burning. So fragile, like it was built to break off the handle. How'd we get to this place? We're leaving everything behind for new and exciting feelings, but I won't leave you. Will everything we know be lost and changed? Something new Only time will tell But I'll be holding you I'll be holding you Alright guys, so far it's working out pretty well, I guess Um, the fire is melting the rubber on this metal ring Right in there Oh god, messing up But uh, sh let it burn Burn the rubber around it Try to pull that um, metal piece out the middle, and hopefully it comes out. Let's let's see. So far, so good. What's up, guys? Day four of working on this rear end. Now, before we start getting to work, I wanted to show you what my wife got me for Christmas that I'm really stoked about. You guys ready for this? You guys ready? Boom! Brand new coveralls. So now I have shop coveralls to use in the shop and not be all dirty and using my regular clothes to work in. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so now let's get to work. All right, guys, so yesterday, uh, you remember, I was burning out the bushings. And so it burned kind of around the rubber pieces. I did both sides trying to do it. I didn't record that. Well, I didn't continue recording because I lost sunlight. And I was working off of uh, my shop light. And also, while I was out there, I put together the shop press. So if it all worked out, and hopefully... Hopefully the um, hopefully the bushings are like kind of mushy. It makes it easier, so I can just use the shop press, push them out, and press in the new ones. Let's hopefully that works. All 
Alright guys, so the press worked great. Um, we got push, we pushed one of the uh, bushings out, but the other one, it kind of, the center came out, but the rest of it didn't, not like the other one. So, yeah, so we're going to set it back on fire and see if we can burn the rest of that, the rubber out of it, and then we'll be done. Alright, cool. So we're back in the garage. We're finally done taking these stupid bushings out. Uh, I had to set one of them back on fire because the, the rubber piece was still holding the center in and only the center came out with the press. So I was over there beating the crap out of it. Almost, I almost pulled out the saws and started cutting. But luckily it came out and this is what it looks like after. So it just, it's just totally, it's totaled. Uh, it's completely ripped in half now. Yep, there it is. But, good thing is, it's out. Cool. So, this is where I'm going to cut this video. I'm going to do another part later on. Uh, so, stay tuned for, we're going to be doing painting, or prep, paint, and pushing in the new PBM solid bushings, the pivoting bushings going on there. And I still have to do the other bushings on the uh, um, differential itself. So yeah, so stay tuned for that. That's going to be fun. Another another freaking video doing this. All right, guys. Appreciate you guys tuning in. If you liked it, get that thumbs up. If you like the new coveralls my wife got me, also hit that thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe, and keep on building, and you surely see progress.